Is Ty Lopez a scam? And the answer is yes. Not 100%, but he's probably around 80% of a scam. Meaning he's not as bad as a Tim Sykes or a Ricky Gutierrez, but it's all about intent. And I do not believe that Ty Lopez has a clear intent on defrauding people, but I do believe that Ty Lopez is a scam. And there are a few reasons. One, pretty much anyone who becomes a Lambo boy by buying expensive cars, mansions, and using girls, uh, those type of people are trying to project and sell you a lifestyle which for many people is unattainable. So that using those type of um, mechanisms to attract your desire and to tap into your greed is a clear indication that someone is scammy or using predatory marketing practices. So Ty Lopez definitely, even though it draws attention, he, and I'm not saying that, that 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 type of stuff by itself makes him a scam, but more so his behavior. So he's using that to attract attention. His product is 67 Steps. I've read reviews online and most people say that it's complete garbage. Now again, I don't really believe in online reviews, but for the most part, what a lot of people in the consensus is, is that Ty Lopez repackages a lot of material that you can get for free. And really what it comes down to is that if you wanna be successful, you have to build positive habits, you have to eat well, you have to go to the gym, you have to take care of yourself, and you have to put in the work every single day. Right now, it's January 1st. Last night for New Year's Eve, I did not go out and get drunk. On New Year's, where a lot of people are out partying, and um, I did not. I'm making a video right now as opposed to like going to the pool or, or doing some other things that I could be doing in order to enjoy myself. So remember, the big takeaway is that you're not gonna read any book, you're not gonna listen to any podcast, you're not gonna watch any YouTube video that is gonna help you accomplish your goals. You need to establish and build good habits. The other reasons why I believe that he's a scam, although he's not, he's not a criminal, so he's not Tim Sykes, he's not, he's not Ricky Gutierrez. I do believe that his intent is pretty good, but I think that overall Ty Lopez is a scam. And um, I, I, you know, if you look back at his history, he's never, in my opinion, now again, I, I'm not like an expert, I'm not, Ty Lopez, but I don't think he's ever created a successful business. So he worked at GE Capital, he was an insurance salesman, and he bought some internet, some internet dating uh, websites. And this is the main evidence that I have against him because he is CEO or he was CEO of Elite Global Dating. And there are countless reviews about how they send out predatory emails and predatory messages to people in order to entice them to sign up. And then once those, once those people sign up, and they reply to those messages from pretty girls, then they receive no response. So this is clear bait and switch. It's an internet marketing tactic where you're going to get lonely guys who wanna meet pretty girls and they're gonna send them and then they're gonna just get them to sign up and then they're gonna send them introductory messages which are automatically sent by a computer and by a bot and that's gonna entice the people to sign up and then once those people part with their money, those people that actually receive those messages, when they try to reply back to those fake profiles of attractive women who message them, then they receive no response. So definitely having Ty Lopez be the CEO of Elite Global Dating is a huge red flag. Having him utilize cars and pretty women and mansions to increase his visibility and his, and his own brand is a huge red flag. So for those two specific reasons, and also uh, when you read the online reviews on his 67 Steps product, the reviews are pretty bad because it's pretty much like repackaging garbage. So for those three reasons, that he relies upon cars, women, and mansions, the fact that he's CEO of a scam dating site, the fact that he um, never was a successful entrepreneur and he said he worked for GE Capital as an insurance salesman, which is not bad. I mean, getting a job at GE Capital is not the easiest thing in the world. I mean, more power to him. I actually interviewed with GE Capital when I was leaving Cornell before I accepted a job in investment banking. So it is what it is. And um, the other thing is the fact that he's pretty much repackaging all of the materials then for those four reasons, I can tell you that he pretty much is leaning towards being a scam. So um, yeah, and for all you guys who wanna like call me a hater and all that stuff, I mean, um, let's just be real. Like I worked in investment banking, I'm rich, and I also worked as a nightclub promoter and I probably had sex with just as many girls, if not more, than Ty Lopez has. So for people to be like, 
oh, well, you just want his lifestyle. The reality is that um, I could have his lifestyle and I, I had his lifestyle and I also don't have to sell them shitty products and defraud them in order to raise my own visibility. So for all you guys who are like, oh, well, he has mansions and pretty girls and cars and stuff like that, if you're really successful, you really want to keep a low profile and you don't want to spend a lot of money on Lamborghinis and cars. Like one of my friends who bought a really expensive car, uh, one of his friend's nephews destroyed the, the paint on the door and it cost him $4,000 to fix. Like you just don't want that headache. So it's way better to rent things and use them when you want than it is to actually own them. But those four reasons, like I said previously, it is gearing it's leading me to believe that ty lopez is a scam if you have any questions you can leave a comment below please like comment share and subscribe to this channel if you have any questions i'm here to help you and i appreciate your attention